play based off what you see from the defense? Um, you know, we have a, a pretty pretty small package that, that uh, we really like to use, especially at home. We, we, we can all communicate pretty easily and be all you know pretty much uh, on the same page. Um, but you know, there's there's uh, a number of things at our disposal, and, and uh, we just try to attack the defense fast and quickly. And, uh, you know, try to confuse them a little bit, but really just kind of speed things up and get them up tempo and get them tired and get them moving. What is it about the no huddle of veteran quarterbacks you love? I mean, Gannon was here; he just loved it. Manning loves it. You talked about a lot about it. Even when Jeff Hostel was back here, it's all they ran it with him, and he loved it. Um, you know, you need to have some experience. You need to have seen a number of things. Um, and, you know, experience different pressures, different different bluffs. Uh, is that a big thing you get in the huddle is, is bluff coverage, bluff, like, bluff pressures. Um, but you know, it, it's not it's not completely a you know, better thing. It's more um, years in the offense. Um, you know, the more and more comfortable I get within this offense, you know, with the more the more the package we put in. I'm sure. Um, you know, this was you know, one of my first you know, couple, third or fourth year in the league, third or fourth year in the offense. I'd be a lot more comfortable than I am right now just because this is year one. I'm still, still, learning, still learning in it, still growing in it. So as the season goes on and, and I get more and more comfortable with the offense, I'm sure the better. So soon we're just guessing that Manning probably doing much less than he did at Indianapolis based on just his years in the system. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I really haven't seen the offense play at all. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what what's at their disposal, but you know, I'm sure he's it's, it is a new office for him, new teammates too. That's another big part of it. So I'm sure as the season goes on, they'll, they'll get better at it too. Are your fact? Totally different. Um, you know, our our crowd does such a good job of being quiet when we're on offense. Where you'll go to some some home team when they're off. Carson, you're facing her defense, but uh, how fun is it to match up with a guy like Peyton Manning, quarterback to quarterback? Um, to be honest, I really don't think about it too yeah. much. You can't. Uh, you don't look at it as an as individual battle. Uh, I'm thinking more of, uh, you know, Elvis, Elvis on the other side and Vaughn and, uh, and some of those guys. Champ Bailey on the corner. I, you know, my, my battles with those guys. I, I played against Peyton a, a handful of times, and uh, you can't get into individual battles with other players. In the All right. All right. It looks like the uh, replacement refs might be gone after this weekend. Are you guys happy to hear that? Or yeah, I mean, I I haven't heard that. Um, but you know, that's that's a league matter. They're going to handle that the way that they handle that. Uh, as players, we really can't focus on that or worry about that. We got enough to worry about just with studying the game plan we got today. The key to the tight ends being involved is, is the offense really involves it. You know, there, there's a number of opportunities where you catch big plays. Um, you know, there's a number of, of things in the passing game where they're not really deep, deep quarter routes or clear routes. They're uh, the number one option, the number two option. Uh, and, and they're still learning, but uh, they've done a phenomenal job. Those three guys, they're, they're all very similar. They have you know, certain characteristics that differentiate them, but uh, 
body size, their abilities, even their experience, they're all pretty similar guys. They've done a great job. I've done third, third ten play, twenty-five, and starting out the game when I'm driving the fire. Is that to see the first three on that one? Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a ton of stuff where, where the tight ends don't want to read. And, uh, that's just a play where you got Brandon matched up in a, in a favorable matchup against a linebacker. And he does such a good job. He's a lot faster than he looks. He kind of catches guys off guard quicker than he looks, too. And before you know it, he gets by it, just like he did on that play. He's getting grabbed and held. And he fought through it and made it come off the edge. He got blown up and then uh, Just a great play by him. What is it that makes him so sort of a reliable passer? He's got unbelievable hands. Probably, you know, he's kind of a sleeper. He's probably got the best hands on the team. He makes diving catches, one-handed catches. Uh, you don't ever see him drop anything. So his hands are very reliable. Uh, he really understands the game. He knows how to set up routes. He knows how to get open in zones. Uh, he knows how to set up man routes. Uh, just really a, a solid all-around player, and he can block too. Which a lot of times you get a guy that's really good at one thing and struggles with the other brand. It's really balanced passing and running. Are there different styles to the huddle? Do you watch other quarterbacks in the past and pick up different things like Peyton or how does that work? I'm sure there are. I don't know. You know, nobody kind of really lets the cat out of the bag and gives you up, you know, gives up any secrets. Um, so I can't speak on anybody else's offense how they do it. Um, I'm sure everybody's a little bit different. You tinker to, uh, you know, whether you got rookies playing, or a bunch of vets on the offensive line, or whatever it may be. Um, but you know, you, you can't, you can't worry about what other guys are doing. Try to get any, any uh, inside information on the guys. Just go work for yourself. In the quarterback fraternity, though, Carson, what makes him so good at the know huddle? All the things he's doing at the line, and uh, a lot of things. His experience. He's been playing for a long time. Uh, he's accurate. He's got good zip on the ball. He's got good touch. He moves well. I mean, he, he does everything well. Uh, you know, he's not going to take off and run for the yards. Obviously, everything else he does extremely well. Is it fun for you to do? Yeah, I mean, it's fun to move the ball for points. You know, whatever way we, you know, coaches decide we're going to attack, um, you know, we're, we're comfortable with doing. You know, the no huddle is great, but uh, we also have a lot of really good stuff that we can dial up when we huddle the ball and, and change personnel groups, motion shifts, and all the things that confuse defenses. Because that's something that, that we're, we're really good at for a, for a startup offense. And, uh, either way, as long as we're moving the ball, it's fun. How big would it be to hit that bye week at 2 2 and then maybe, you know, I don't know what Darius will be this week, but you'd think a good chance after the bye he could be back and Shantae maybe getting healthy? Huge, huge. Um, you know, it's a division game. You've know, you got to win the, the AFC games, but then you got to win the, your division games. Um, you know, with, with the way the bye is, it would be great. You know, then you start thinking about AC coming off of you know, his, his knee injury and coming off the PUP list. Shante and Ron too. Ron's you know, around the corner, hopefully. And, and hopefully, Darius. You know, we'll see. We're still waiting around Darius, but uh, you know, it's a good time because we are banged up in a number of spots. And, you know, it's, it's a good. It's exciting to have a big win, to have a huge game coming up on the road. It's good to know we have a chance to kind of uh, get a little bit healthier, and kind of get clean up some of the guys that are banged up. How's Denver's defense the first three weeks of, of this season compared to what you saw last? Very solid last year. Um, stingy in the run game, they're, they're still doing that. They still have Champ Bailey out there, and, and Tracy Porter's been a great addition. Uh, just a very good defense. There, there's not a weakness. They have two phenomenal pass rushers. You know, the thing you can't do against these guys is fall behind early. As soon as they get a lead, those those pass rushers put their hand on the ground and just come off the ball and their ears back. So. But it, it, very similar to last year. They're a very solid defense last year. And, Played very well this year. Okay. Well, question. How tough is adjustment for the center and for other players? You mentioned the quarterback. Is it a big step up for those guys also? Yeah. Um, the big, the biggest difference is all the Because it's all about communication. You're not gathering to call a play to everybody. Um, you can, there's a lot of communication that's really difficult on the road. It really limits you in what you can do, uh, especially at the center spot. You know, there's so many different things that, that can happen. You gotta worry about 
know, making sure you're ready for the snap and get the ball back to you. So um, it definitely limits you and, and uh, it puts a lot of stress on those guys. But, but Wiz being you know, a second-year guy uh, that acts and 